This veterans monument sits in the old town square of Mount Vernon. I've never been able to be a part of a community before. I spent all my adult life in the military. After 24 years in the Navy, Rich Sundance and his family now have roots in a place he loves. And then I walk, walk by the the monument here. He couldn't bear to see a blemish in his city. And it was in such disrepair. As leader of Disabled American Veterans Chapter 59, he recently formed a small work party to clean up this marble archway. When it was done, Rich realized he was not. I'm going to fix this. And I'm not going to just fix it for right here, this little piece of real estate. I'm going to go out and I'm going to put together Team, teams of volunteers to find out where all the monuments are. It's estimated there are dozens throughout Skagit County. Ask Rich why he wants to do it. It's a very emotional thing to try to, to articulate to you. Is I, I made it home. For those who did not, Rich and his growing volunteer corps of fellow vets want these symbols of sacrifice, sacrifice for freedom, to shine. I just feel it's my mission in life to give back to my community and the people that, that weren't as, as fortunate as me. I, I agree. We Financially strapped people. cities are grateful to have these passionate yeah. veterans. Starting with Mount Vernon is great. We're happy, we're proud. But then as Rich expands out to even bigger and broader things, I think that's just a great opportunity. Well, looks like copper to me. No, says Rich. It is he who feels a deep sense of gratitude. I am just a very blessed individual, and I'm going to give my last breath to, to, to making it work for anybody that I can in my community. In Mount Vernon, Mark Miller, Como 4 News.